Kini law, literally, eaten raw, is a raw seafood dish native to the Philippines, similar to ceviche. It is more accurately a cooking process that relies on vinegar to denature the ingredients, rather than a dish, as it can also be used to prepare meat and vegetables. Meat-based kinilaw usually known as kilawan, are more common in the northern Philippines and use blanched and lightly grilled meat not raw. Kinilaw dishes are usually eaten as appetizers before a meal, or as finger food pulatin, with alcoholic drinks. Description The most common kinilaw dish is kinilaw na isda, fish kinilaw, prepared using raw cubed fish mixed with vinegar, usually coconut vinegar or cane vinegar, as the primary denaturing agent, along with a souring agent to enhance the tartness like calamansi, diap, biasong, camias, tamarind, green mangoes, baliming, and green sinaguelas. It is flavored with salt and spices like black pepper, ginger, onions, and chili peppers commonly siling labuyo or bird's eye chili to neutralize the fishy taste and the acidity before serving. Juice extracts from the grated flesh of tabin tabin fruits Atuna racemosa, dungan fruits Heratera sylvatica and Heratera literalis, or immature small young coconuts are also commonly added. Extracts from the bark scrapings of siniguelas or bacawan trees Rhizophora mangroves are also used similarly. Some regional variants also add gata coconut milk, sugar, or even soft drinks to reduce the sourness. Popular kinds of fish used in kinila include tanig or tanjigi, Spanish mackerels, king mackerel, or wahoo, malasugi, marlins or swordfish, tambaycal, yellowfin tuna, bangus, milkfish, and anchovies. Variants predominantly from the northern Philippines use meat, usually called kilawan to distinguish them from other kinila, including goat meat, beef, carabao, pork, and chicken. Unlike fish kinilaw, meat kilawan are not eaten raw but are cooked by boiling or grilling or both. They are usually done rare to medium rare, though in some cases the meat are fully cooked. Meat-based kilawan are also traditionally eaten with papite literally, bittering agent. Usually the bile extracted from the gall bladder or by squishing the chewed grass in an animal's stomach. Ingredients used in seafood and meat kinilaw must be fresh and properly cleaned, as there are health hazards involved with consuming raw seafood and partly cooked meat. Other ingredients used in kinilaw include shrimp, squid, clams, oysters, crabs, sea urchin roe, seaweed, jellyfish, shipworms, tomalic, or even beetle larvae, grubs, among others. They vary in terms of preparation, depending on the ingredients, from raw to fully cooked. For example, shrimp are prepared raw, while squid needs to be blanched first to tenderize the flesh. Kinilaw also refers to dishes using raw fruits and vegetables marinated in vinegar and spices, in which case the dishes are sometimes referred to by the Spanish term ensalada, salad. Examples include cucumbers pepino, bitter melons impalaya, young sweet potato camote leaves, young papaya, vegetable ferns paco, and banana flowers. History Kini law is native to the Philippines. The Balangay Archaeological Excavation Site in Butuan dated c. 10th to 13th century AD has uncovered remains of halved tabin tabin fruits and fish bones cut in a manner suggesting that they were cubed, thus indicating that the cooking process is at least a thousand years old. It was also described by Spanish colonists and explorers to the Philippines, with the earliest mention being in the Vocabulario de la Lengua Tagala as Sikanicolao and Calao, a Hispanicized spelling of the Visayan verb cala, to eat raw, and a cognate of the adjective hilao, raw uncooked or unripe other sources that mention it include the vocabulario de la lengua pampanga and romance 1732 as quilao and in the 1754 edition of vocabulario de la lengua tagala as quilao unlike latin american ceviches which exclusively use citrus juices kinilaw instead primarily uses vinegar and other acidic fruit juices topic Regional names and variants Several regions of the Philippines have local specialties or names of kinila dishes. In the northern Philippines, the Ivatan people of the Batanes Islands refer to kinila as Latavan. Ivatan fish kinila is known as Latavana among, among. 
In Ilocos, the Ilocano Kilauean calding or Kilauean specifically refers to lightly grilled goat meat kinilaw. Among the Kapampangan people of Pampanga, Quilan also spelled Kilayan or Kilayan or Quilan Babi refers to kinilaw that use fully cooked pork, heart, liver, and tripe. A similar dish among the Caviteño Tagalogs uses fully boiled pork ears, and is known as Kulao or Kilauan na Tanga ng Baboy. When mixed with fried tokwa tofu cubes, kulao becomes the more familiar dish tokwit baboy. Modern variants of this dish use soy sauce in addition to the other ingredients. In the southern Philippines, the Taoshug people of the Sulu Islands refer to fish kinilaw as lawal. Unlike other kinilaw dishes, lawal only uses vinegar to wash the fish, and primarily relies on citrus fruits and other souring agents to denature the fish meat. Among the Maranao people of southwestern Mindanao, bayaring is a type of kinila made with tiny shrimp. It is a regional favorite it and is notable because it is ideally prepared while the shrimp are still alive. See also Kalaguan, a Chamorro dish derived from Kilauan Paxiu Philippine adobo List of raw fish dishes Filipino cuisine List of Philippine dishes <laughs>